I'm Shelby with Alibi Team, and today's tutorial is a craft tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do picture frame necklaces, and here are a few examples. There is this one, it has an initial, and then there's a back side. And then here's another one, this one was for Valentine's Day, and then the letters say love. This one is an everyday. It has a little owl, and then the back is a damask print. And today I will show you how, uh, where to get paper and things like that. I'm going to do kind of an Eastery colors. All right, so the supplies you will need. Um, these picture frame. It comes with a frame and two glass sheets. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. You can get yours at your local craft store. Um, they come in diff uh, different sa shapes and sizes, and it tells you how um, the measurement. You will need a ruler for when you're cutting your paper, scissors, um, wire cutters if you are going to use this. This is a thing of just a ball chain, so you can make your ball chain necklaces however long or short you want them. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get yours wherever craft store you have, and it comes with the little ends, so you have plenty of bracelets right here. Um, I waited until this was 50% off, so I got it for only like $4. Okay, all right, I have taken out my things out of the package, and this is what the frame looks like, and I'll show you how to open it up so you can put your paper in it. And then it comes with two clear little glass things to put over the front and the back like this. And the fun thing about these is if you have an outfit that um, you want and you don't have a necklace to really go with it, I've cut out a bunch of paper and put them in this bag. Some of them have sayings in them already. So whenever I have an outfit, I just take them out and replace them. So it's very quick and easy. And if you need an emergency necklace, this is definitely a good way. Um, Whenever, it took us a while to figure it out, but on the edge of these, they have this little prong thing. You need to pull it up like this, and then you're just going to pull so that it opens up and you can shape it. And then once you put your discs in, you're going to slide it through this little hole and bend it back over. Alright, let me make sure these are the right size. To help kind of measure, I stick the glass, sorry, glass piece over on top. And mine is slightly too big, so I am, you can use your ruler, but I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Okay, so I have your first one. And I'm going to cut out my second one, and I'm going to glue them together so that it's easier to place it into my frame. Okay, I have now glued my little pieces together so that they're all one size. And I kind of cut it down so that on either side you couldn't see the other paper where white was sticking out. And to do this, this is really easy. You take your clear glass and stick it over the front, and then stick it over the back like this. Make sure no paper is sticking out. And then you're just, for me it's easier to stick the bottom in first and then wrap the edges around it. So you stick, sorry, slide it in like this. And you just kind of clasp it. And then this part is kind of tricky. You have to make this little prong stick in the hole. And once you push it to the hole, you push it in like that. And then you push this down like that. And now you have your picture frame charm. Okay, we have finished our um, picture frame charm. And I'm going to show you how you can make a necklace out of this. Or you can buy these at a jewelry store or at your craft store in the jewelry section. And I'm so sorry I forgot to add, 
um, to the supply list. You only need here so I can show you. A O-ring. And you get these at your craft store and the jewelry section. And you will need these needle nose pliers to help you open them. And you're going to, um, the reason you need the O-ring is so that your picture frame on your necklace doesn't hang like this. The O-ring will make it hang like this. Okay, so let me open my O-ring. I stick it through like this. And pry it open, maybe. Okay. A little bit further. There we go. See, I pried it open like this. And it went flying. Alright. <laughs> so you're going to stick it through like that. You're going to hold it and you're going to take your pliers and you're going to squeeze it so that it's closed. Like that. Okay, so this is finished for now. And if you are using this, this is where you need your wire cutters. And depending on how long you want it, you go like this, kind of measure it. I'm going to use this today. So, I'm going to measure it out. How long do we want it? That long? Okay. This is where you need your wire cutters. And all it takes is a little snip. Like that. Not very hard. And then you just need one of these to clasp it together. Okay, now this part can be tricky for some people. <laughs> you take the ball, one ball, and kind of, this is so little, it's hard to see. Hold on, just one moment, let me get it in place. You're gonna stick it in like this, you kind of see it? And then you're just gonna tug so that the ball gets stuck in that one spot right there. So then it leaves one part like this. And then we're gonna stick the picture frame on. Stick it through the O-ring that we placed on our picture frame, like this. See how it's hanging right? Now whenever you go to close it on your neck, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna stick the ball in the middle and push like that. So now you have your necklace. Very fun and very easy because you can change it out. And it's one of my most favorite crafts ever. And if you want to, you can turn it the other way. Put it on another way so that you can see the other side. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I really hope you enjoyed this video.